lights are going on. And uh, we are away. It's a brilliant start. Nixon Frost, uh, he's got the uh, jump on Hunter Charlotte at the moment. We had uh, the update from uh, Team Charlotte Racing. A few little gearing changes, so uh, a little bit uh, more on that bike potentially today. We're in for a superstar showdown here with our two uh, awesome uh, contenders here out in front. Championship uh, lead, Hunter Charlotte, down to 21 points now. So a uh, bit of work to do to try and hang on to that. Nixon Frost doing all the right things in Teratonga so far. Pole position and the race win yesterday. Ready to do battle again with his good mate, Hunter Charlotte. These guys are going to tackle the world again this uh, year. Uh, Nixon, he had his debut year in the OJC, the Oceania Junior Cup. And now uh, good mate Hunter and also Hayden Fordyce. There's three of them going to be doing battle and taking on the best Australia's got to offer. So can't wait to follow these guys' journey in the next calendar year. It's going to be brilliant. And they're certainly showing us uh, the talent on display here with our Super Sport 150. It's Nixon Frost on the Use Homes TSS motorcycle supported 99 machine. Absolutely loving it. As he turns turn seven and uh, onto the front straight, and behind him, number 73, on the race supplier supported Mega Motorcycle Centre uh, Yamaha. Second place on the cards here for Hunter Shuttle. Let's have a look at some split times already after lap one. There's only a six lap race, so these guys are going to be all on here. Nixon Frost, Hunter Charlotte, separated by just 0.5 of a second, so look out for it. Pretty quick outlaps as well. We've got a lap record that uh, Nixon here set yesterday, the 119 one, so we'll look out, see if we can uh, try and break that. We've already had Court Buchanan uh, break 600 Super Sport lap record this morning with a blistering 58.7. That is certainly super quick. And uh, we're getting excited about lap records as well. It's a beautiful day here in Invercargill. The sun shining and now look at this Super Sport 150 battle. She is on out the front. Nixon Frost, Hunter Charlotte. There's only a few bike lengths in it as they go around turn number two. Looks like Nixon's just slightly stronger through that section. And it might be down the front straight where Hunter's uh, getting that top end speed. So uh, those two locked in a good battle. Uh, third place again as is uh, the uh, former round last weekend. Uh, those two, uh, Lucas Guthrie and Kieran Mayer. They were inseparable out on track, and they have uh, kicked off this one here again. But Lucas on the Get Off My Moto E and I supported uh, machine, and uh, Kieran at TSS Motorcycles, Better Finance, Got Speed Media, and uh, Moto Academy. Uh, Jixer, so the sole running Jixer out there, the Suzuki uh, one, gives up a few horsepower to the Yamahas in front of him, but uh, he makes up for that by sheer grit and determination. And uh, we're into this one here, so let's have a look down that front straight. Here come our race leaders. We're going to look at split times as well. It was 0.5 a second last time. It's uh, going to be around about the same again. So not much difference. Pretty much uh, the same lap times. And a 1.19.3. So 1.19.3. Two tenths off lap record pace already. And we're only on the second lap. As we see uh, it tighten right up into the loop. Turn one here at Teratonga Park Raceway. Nixon Frost leading Hunter Charlotte narrowly out of turn one. On the run into turn number two. We look out uh, for third place. Lucas Guthrie getting quicker and quicker every time he goes around this racetrack and uh, he's got a comfy 1.9 second margin. Now back to Kieran Mir, so uh, certainly uh, as tight as it was yesterday, Lucas has found a little bit more this morning and uh, a 1.9 second buffer between uh, the fight for the podium, third and fourth place. Fabulous to have our uh, future stars on show for the fans here. Good crowd coming in at Teratonga Park Raceway as well, so a big welcome to uh, everyone out and about there. A huge welcome to everyone tuning in on CTAS. Grant and Joseph uh, do some wonderful work. And uh, we're here now uh, in the commentary box, uh, just in awe of the young future talent as uh, Hunter Charlotte, as quick as he's ever been into Turn 7. This is about as close as he's been to Nixon. It's a big drag race down the line. This is going to be the halfway stage in the race when they cross the line. There's only going to be three laps to go. And uh, it's uh, all on. Hunter Charlotte now leads Nixon Frost. And uh, it's a 1.17.6, so 1.17.6, a new lap record on the cards here as uh, they are flying. Uh, 1.18's uh, all around there, 1.19 for Nixon Frost. We've got Lucas Guthrie at a, uh, a 1.28 last time around. He's getting quicker as well, so a new lap record for Hunter Charlotte, and he's getting quicker and quicker. This is what he needs in the championship. He had the 21-point lead coming into this race. Uh, Nixon now with a little bit of work to do as this is the first time all weekend that Hunter's been in front so look at them absolutely on side by side as they go around turn number two Nixon just a little bit quicker through this section but uh, Hunter doing a good job lining up those apexes nicely and uh, making sure that Nixon doesn't have a run at him have a look into the hairpin here Nixon not quite close enough this is going to be a big one here slipstream so important on these smaller lightweight motorcycles as well these two 
The jockey's on board. So lightweight and nimble. It's going to be all on here. 73 and 99. They were absolutely on at uh, Ruapuna uh, last weekend. Hunter winning three from three in the Grand Prix. So uh, Nixon would love to respond here. Terra Tonga loves the track. And uh, certainly on. Mega Motorcycle Centre Race Supplies Lock and Code uh, supporting Hunter Charlotte. He is the one on that number 73 machine. He leads narrowly ahead of Nixon Frost. Uh, no change to the fastest lap of the race, which is at 118.9. So Hunter Charlotte with the lap record and an average speed of 117 kilometres an hour. That's absolutely phenomenal. 117 kilometres an hour. Average speed around here at Terra Tonga. Hunter Charlotte, Nixon Frost, that's your one and two, just half a second in it, nothing at all in it. This is where Nixon Frost is so good as well, so with two laps to go, can we see things that heat up here into turn number two and into the S's? It's all on, I can't really pick this one. Look out, Lucas Gasper's going to come through the line. He's got in quicker and quicker, that's uh, a 128.4 for him. Look out for this, uh, it's really exciting for him. Here in Egerton's his fastest lap of the race, so he's getting quicker and quicker, but he's got a 3.9 second deficit to try and make up. If he wants to try and get himself involved in the podium fight at the moment, a lap and a bit to go. It's all on. Nixon's got a really good run around the brickyard and into turn number seven. So they're almost side by side as they go. Into turn seven, Nixon goes up the inside. Hunter comes back on the undercut, but uh, Nixon uh, doing the big move and he's got it stuck. So well done. Nixon Frost now leads down the front straight. Can Hunter tuck in and grab some slipstream here? The white flag ready and waiting. One lap to go. Super Sport 150 racing, it's electric, there may only be four of them out there, but it is on. Nixon Frost on the 99, Hunter Charlotte on the 73, Hunter's in the slip three now, he's going to pull up alongside him. I think we're going to see a change into turn one, it's going to be Hunter, who's going to break hard and uh, take over the lead. It was Nixon across the line, there's uh, no change to their uh, fastest lap times there. Uh, still that 118.9 our lap record for Hunter Charlotte, but this last lap is going to be one for the ages. Have a look at them, Hunter Charlotte, Nixon Frost. Uh, coming around the loop, turn number one here, and uh, on the run to turn number two, Castrol. It's still with Hunter, still narrowly. Nixon's on the back wheel. It's going to be anyone's here. I'm not sure who's going to be able to do this. It was an amazing move into turn seven from Nixon last time. Has he got something else up his sleeve here? Well, let's uh, keep an eye on them through the S's and on the run to the hairpin. Uh, the update there for Lucas Guthrie on the get up moto. Still hanging on to that third place. So have a look at that split time. It's gone out to five seconds now, so a comfy ride for him in third place. And we're going to look out for the race lead. They're in the brickyard now. Can Nixon find something else into turn number seven? Side by side. He's dived up the inside. He's in a bit hot, but uh, I think he's got the apex sorted. What a move, Nixon Frost, the final corner of the final lap. And this is going to be exciting. It's a drag race to the line. It's not done for yet. It's a massive long straight here at Terra Tonga. Let's have a look. And who's it going to be? Down the front straight, a big drag race to the line. Nixon Frost, Hunter Charlotte. It's on here, and Hunter's going to get it done. Hunter, by half a bike link over Nixon Frost. That is one to remember there, point zero three four three one hundredths of a second. And uh, wow, it was an amazing move by Nixon Frost, but it was the drag race in the slipstream. Hunter Charlotte just gets out of there. And uh, what an amazing race that was. Swap and paint for six laps. They've got an eight-lap race later on this afternoon. And if that one, there's anything to go by, we are going to just need the edge of our seat required for this afternoon. That's brilliant. Well done to those two, uh, the sons of two former New Zealand Superbike champions. And uh, to put on a show like that, brilliant stuff. Well done. Hunter Charlotte's going to get credited with the win ahead of Nixon Frost. We then look out to uh, Lucas Guthrie coming down the front straight now. That will be uh, him coming home to round out the podium with Kieran Mir on the TSS Motorcycles Better Finance uh, Moto Academy machine. Uh, that'll be fourth place for Kieran. Well done to those two. Lucas Guthrie carries on his awesome podium ways and he locks away uh, his hold on third in the championship. So uh, Hunter Charlotte, uh, 21 point lead in the championship. He'll extend that by another five. Well done to him. And uh, the bike changes made overnight uh, were just what the doctor ordered. So phenomenal racing from our Supersport 150. Nixon Frost with a win yesterday is going to have to settle for second place. Uh, so uh, can he find a little bit something for later on this magic uh, eight lap race coming up? Lucas Guthrie carries on his amazing streak of podiums and then go back to Kieran Mir. So. Uh, Absolutely brilliant. Super Sport 150. There may only be four of them out there, but uh, four of the best and talented on display. So well done to them. And we're going to cross down to uh, Neil, who's going to wrap up our podium for Super Sport 150. And it's going to be Hunter Charlotte gets the amazing win ahead of Nixon Frost. And then go back to Lucas Guthrie, our awesome future stars on display. And let's cross down to Neil with our Super Sport 150 podium.
Yeah, well, here we are at uh, another our podium, this time our little 150 class. And I say little for two reasons. One, for the size of the bikes, our 150cc, so the smallest of our bikes. But I say little by the size of the riders as well. Uh, all these uh, kids still just schoolboys at uh, heart and uh, having the most fun in the holidays of any kids probably uh, in New Zealand at the moment. So uh, pretty good to see. So an opportunity to uh, catch up first of all with Lucas. You've got the hard work to do there, You're holding out uh, Kieran, but you've done it again. Uh, Lucas, what's your strategy when he's behind you? Uh, just keep focused and just stay forward. Yeah, yeah good to see you. Right, how's the bikes performing today? Uh, way better, yeah. Way better. What are some of the things that you're feeling more comfortable with? Uh, gear changing, clutch, and yeah. yeah. Good. How are the tyres looking? Uh, yeah, they're really good, yeah. They're really good. Cool, cool. All right, um, track, can you feel the temperature in the track improving all the time? Yeah, really warm. Really warm, more grip? Yeah, way more. Way more, way more. Cool, have you got a favourite part around Teratonga? What do you enjoy the most when you're going around here? Uh, probably the S's, well, yeah. Splash. Yeah. yeah, Splash, yeah, pretty cool. The straight's quite long, isn't it? Yeah, really yeah. long. Yeah. When do you get into top gear, just out of the corner and then you just hold it all the way? Yeah. What about the strategy of tucking it behind the fairing? Is that hard to do, to concentrate, to make sure you're getting less wind resistance? Yeah. Keeping it focused all the time? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well done. Great speech. I'm really enjoying that. Cool, mate. Well, we're, see, we've got the whole family down here. We, we've got all the kids. He's got a brolly dolly that he'd prefer to have a different one, but he'll grow into one. Won't be worried. Nixon, what happened, mate? Uh, Hunter, he's got a new lap record. He's going real fast. Just managed to pass me down the straights. Yes, the slipstreaming. So, so you've learnt you can do that back to him in the next race? Yeah. Yeah, that's the answer I wanted to hear. Well done. Yeah, I'll try to start doing that. My bike is definitely a bit slow on the straight, but Hunter, he, he's going quite a lot faster this race. All right, cool, cool. Well, he's done a few changes, so you're back to the drawing board. What If, if you were to have the ultimate, what would you think of, of changing or shifting to? What would you be doing? I reckon we might change the gearing again, like uh, maybe to like 49 or 50, so it's a bit better down the straights. Oh, mate, that's how, how technical are these kids, eh? They're telling to us. And these are school kids that are telling us all about this. Man, I, I didn't know anything about gearing until I had high school, let alone put, still at uh, a smaller school like that. So, uh, Nixon, um, in, in the holidays, you know, your, your other kids are home, you know, they're having uh, fun in their uh, own way. But uh, what are some of the other things you've been doing while you've been here in the beautiful South Island? Oh, uh, so mainly we've just been doing like tons of like, because we're on a camper van, we've just been like tons of sightseeing, going all over, tons of swimming, just a bunch of like tourists. Stuff. All right, and then you've got to go home. Home, yeah, that's the unfortunate bit. <laughs> it is unfortunate. So the next race I interview, are you going to be there? Uh, hopefully, yeah. Good answer, good answer. Well done. So uh, there it is. That's uh, Nixon Frost as well. Go around the other side and reach over the top here to uh, Hunter. And look at that, he's relaxed. How good's that from Hunter? Look at that. And look at that smile on your face, mate. And when I said to you here yesterday, could you beat him? And you went, yes, you have beaten him. So how good was that feeling? Oh, it feels great, yeah. Like, um, I, I probably couldn't have beaten him, him without uh, changing my gearing and stuff. So, yeah. Well, he's now thinking he's going to have to change his gearing, so you're setting the standard. So what do you, when you're changing the gearing, is that making it so that you can get it to go faster? Yeah, it's just um, the limiter. It's when I keep hitting the limiter on my other gearing, and it's, it's much faster if you don't hit the limiter. So. Yeah, good work, good work. All right, what about your tyres? How's they feeling? Yeah, real good. Grippy. Grippy? Yep. Right. So what have you learned from that last race? That would be some of the best race craft that you've ever executed, Hunter, and I can say that looking from the outside. Is that what it feels like to you that you're learning how to race now? Yeah. Much better. All right, so uh, what are you going to do in the next race? Because he knows your secret now, so he's going to make an improvement, but you've got to get him back. What are you going to do? Um, go fast on start, yeah. Right, there you go. That'll do nicely. Well done. Hey, aren't they awesome kids, ladies and gentlemen? Come on, give them a round of applause. This is your future. This is our sport. Well done. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you, Nixon. Thank you, Hunter. Sensational to see. There it is, our fabulous 150 class with our uh, team coming up here, Yamaha, Yamaha and Yamaha and the R15, an impressive uh, motorcycle. So uh, well done. They'll we'll put their gear back on and they'll uh, head back again and uh, they'll do it all over again, folks. They might only be small guys and small kids on small bikes, but they're our future. Remembering, of course, the uh, fathers of numbers one and two here are both former New Zealand Superbike Road Championship winners. So for uh, Hunter Charlotte, of course, Super Dad uh, Dennis, and for Nixon, Super Dad uh, Frost or Chopper, as we know him as. So uh, great stories to tell. Hey, just want to do a shout out for the uh, Bears Club and their uh, 40th anniversary, Sound of Thunder, coming up in uh, February at beautiful Wurrapuna, and they're doing their uh, fundraiser. So uh, check out the $20 raffle ticket. So for those of you who are here at Teratonga or you could catch up with somebody from the Bears Club, $20 and a chance to win a
behind a beautiful KTM RC390. Great bike and a great prize for a great sport and a great club and a great event. Sound of Thunder coming back in the February at beautiful uh, Ruapuna. We've still got plenty more here, folks. We're still only going through what is effectively round two because we had round one yesterday. We've got the rest of this round and we've got, of course, uh, tomorrow. Uh, sorry, my apologies, this afternoon as well. So uh, still more great activities. Time at the moment in uh, real time here in beautiful uh, sunny Southland at uh, almost uh, 11.30 and still some uh, great racing to go. Remember, of course, we've reversed the superbikes around because rather than have them earlier on and people saying, when superbikes, when they tune in, although they've already been, we're going to put them in the ecliptic uh, ultimate uh, final race of the round. Still have plenty to come along with the uh, 300s and, of course, those uh, supers. Stay tuned, folks. This is incredible. It is uh, New Zealand Superbike Road Racing Championships with with uh, Aon Insurance and the Pirelli tyres. Power is nothing without control, the ultimate rubber for your racing.